I'm working on this project for my backhoe, and it's a um, hydraulic thumb. And unfortunately, uh, for some reason, it just bent like a noodle. So I ended up actually getting a brand new hydraulic cylinder from Princess Auto. And when it was on sale, it was about 250 bucks. So this is a three and a half inch bore and a 36 inch stroke. Now, the issue is, is that the stroke is just a little bit too long. I'm not entirely sure how long, but uh, maybe about an inch, inch and a half maximum, where the stroke where it pushes out too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a stop tube. I guess that's what they're called. Um, there's two ways of restricting a cylinder. One of them is to put clamps on the outside, which means it just can't retract all the way. But for me, the issue is not that it can't retract uh, too much, but that it extends too much. And the only way for me to do that is to either uh, cut this off and shorten the actual rod and then re-thread the, the thread. But this is just way too long for my little lathe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the piston, uh, well, I'm going to take the nut here off. I'm going to take the piston off. And then I'm going to take a piece of pipe that I found. And this is a really thick walled pipe, so probably about a quarter inch. And uh, it has a two inch diameter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off a two inch piece here. I'm going to bore the inside to maybe about 15, 20 thousandths bigger than the rod here. I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to slide it on here and put the piston and the nut back on. And so that what happens as the piston gets pushed all the way down, it will stop right about here because the the pipe will be in, in between here hitting the end cap and that's the way I can restrict the uh, extension of the piston and that should work. Alright, so here's the setup to take off the nut at the end. I put uh, the pivot point uh, in the vise and suspended it over, put it on the ladder, put a nice little soft cloth in between the piston and the ladder just so it doesn't get scratched up. And the big adjustable wrench. Now I tried it just with the wrench and it's not going to work uh, so I'm going to need to use an extension just to be, you know just a pipe to slide on here and uh, hopefully that should work. So this is 38 millimeters or uh, about an inch and a half. There you go, that's the piston, and there's an internal O-ring right in here, and the seal, and the Teflon guide. Oh, there's a little bit of rust on here. I guess it's uh, only Princess Auto quality, but uh, that'll do. So I'll just put this away nicely, don't get any uh, grinding dust or anything on it, but uh, now I'm ready to slide the extender on here. Here I'm getting ready to bore the inside and I just need it uh, big enough to be able to slide over top of the piston uh, rod. Uh, it's two inches there so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger but it should be fairly straightforward. There you go, the part is done. not perfect, just two different uh, finishes here, but it's all going to be hidden on the inside. The important thing is that these two are parallel. And uh, other than that, that's it. That's what it looks like. So this was actually a really fun project. It only took about an hour and a half to uh, take it all apart, 
make the part, put it all back together. And I had never taken a hydraulic cylinder apart to, you know, to see what the inside looked like. So that was kind of cool. Um, put it all back on the backhoe and uh, it worked great I haven't had any issues since and it's it's perfect length uh, now it's not going to bend the rod anymore hopefully ever uh, so put it back on the backhoe and uh, hired a guy to come by with a portable bandsaw and I ended up cutting about half of this pile up into half inch uh, boards that we're going to use for our cabin siding so that's pretty cool I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out anyways thanks for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you have any questions any comments leave them below I'll be glad to hear from you see you next time bye Thank you.